my name is Denise and today we're going to take a look at Leopard Lightning. Leopard Lightning is controlled using these five buttons. Select or set up a network, view a capture, start a capture, end a capture, and view network performance data. Let's begin by starting a capture. After you start a capture, you can end the Leopard Lightning app. The capture will continue to run until you return and click the end capture. Captures can only be started and stopped by the Android device. Let's look at selecting or setting up a network. If you click on a defined network, all further requests are to that network. To set up a new network, click the plus key. Enter a name and the IP address of the Leopard Lightning server you wish to access. When you click the cloud, the device connects to the server and checks installed network cards. Select the proper adapter and you're done. Creating a new connection makes the network active. To delete a network, hit the X and select the network to delete. To look at a capture, click here. The device displays all the captures stored on the Leopard Lightning server. The last one listed is the current active capture. After you select the capture, you can narrow your selection by isolating an IP address or port. Leopard Lightning searches for this information in the Send and Receive data. It will report what is sent or received from an IP address or port. The lower ports are available using the drop-down menu. You can also use the slider to begin your search from anywhere in the file. Clicking the cloud retrieves the captured data. When you scroll to the end of the data, give it a little tug upward to retrieve more data. The captured data shows both the sending and receiving information. To drill down to the payload data, simply select the packet of interest. During a capture, you can monitor the performance of your network by clicking here. The display tracks bytes and packets for 10 second intervals. The display updates every 10 seconds. If the current update is more than 30% higher than the last report, a tone notifies you of the jump in traffic. If you see something of interest, simply touch the screen at the event. Leopard Lightning will place you at that point in the capture. Once again, clicking any record will pull down the payload data. Now that we've had the tour, let's end the trace. Thanks for taking the time to watch my tutorial today on instructions for Leopard Lightning and have a great day.